Welcome everyone to your reading. Today I'm going to be doing a pick a card for this Sunday and I'm going to be pulling from my Archangel Oracle deck. I will be pulling one card per pile. So and I'm not going to look at which Archangel so it's going to be like a, a surprise for both of us. Um, but I will be pulling um, for pile one will be my Witch's Tarot. Pile 2 will be the right away. Pile 3 will be the Steampunk Tarot. Now, when I upload this YouTube, uh, I, I'm a, I can put in timestamps, so you can kind of go to those timestamps of you for whichever pile you pick. Unfortunately for TikTok, you're going to have to maybe pause the video and kind of scroll through when you get, you know, till you get to the pile that you actually want. So there's no way for me to put timestamps, unfortunately. So I'm going to pick... Um, your three cards in one second and I'm not going to look at it and then I'll, I'll see you right there. Okay everyone I picked your cards pile one you have the witch's tarot so if this deck calls to you or if you like the number one or you can intuitively pick I'm not showing the cards yet pile two this is your pile and you are going to have I'm going to be using the right away tarot deck pile three steampunk tarot deck and you guys can decide on which one you want I will see all of you for pile one I'll see you guys there pile one welcome to your reading let's look at which Archangel is stepping forward for you let's see here we have Archangel Michael stepping forward and the message is clear crystal clear intentions be clear about what you desire and focus upon it with unwavering faith okay so um if this is to do with a goal a decision that you need to make and i can actually read from the the guidebook as well to give some extra messages for all of you um there's something here a decision that needs to be made i feel like for a lot of you and i will pull from the from the tarot also to give some more information on that whether it's a relationship, a job, or something, there's a crossroads coming from forward for a lot of you, and a decision needs to be made, and a lot of you maybe have been a little bit confused, um, maybe worried about, if you, what if I make the wrong decision? Uh, there's, a, there's a need also for some of you to step into like a calmer energy, maybe get away from a lot of people, take some time out for yourself, and really get your, your, your mind straight. Maybe write down a list, pros and cons of what each, de each decision would entail. You know, write out a plan maybe, basically get more clear with you on the actual like logistics of the decision that you need to make, but also maybe go into meditation and get calm with your with the you know that your spiritual energy let me read from the guidebook to get any extra message for all of you okay <clears throat> so this message is for you after praying for guidance be bold enough to admit what you truly desire know that you along with everyone else deserve the best of everything in all ways prosperity and abundance are God's wishes for everyone. You stake your claim on your share of the inheritance by forming a clear mental picture of your desires. Allow yourself to imagine that this desire has already manifested and experience the emotional and physical feelings of your manifested desire. Don't worry how the, desi how the desire will manifest the infinite creativity of the creator will bring it to you in very clever ways. Simply follow any inner guidance to take steps to co-create this di divine desire and allow yourself to receive good as it comes your way, okay? So definitely be crystal clear. Um, and also, um, with the, whatever it is that you're trying to attract in your life, do this as you're falling asleep. So you're imprinting into that subconscious. And also when you're waking up these are the two magical times of manifestation so be i always tell people don't think about your money problems your relationship problems your work problems when you're falling asleep because you're just going to be program programming more of that and we don't want that okay so spirit like please give me another message archangel michael i definitely well well okay so that one I'll pull this one because that one actually actually 
there's definitely a time a need for your for your um, quiet contemplation. But this Two of Swords, I'm not gonna pull all the cards that came out because that's too much. And um, the Two of Swords here is showing me that there there is something here that some of you are afraid to look at or you don't want to face a decision for some reason let's for example let's say there is a relationship that you put so much energy into I'm just giving an example um, and you realize over time that it's just not changing the person's not changing and you know sometimes it's hard to make those decisions but there's an unnecessary there's a need here to face something and really be clear on that and also the two of swords also speaks about taking some time out to get clear on that as well Spirit, what else? What messages do you want to bring forward for pile one? Again, clarity. Clarity is coming to you. Be clear. The ace is like the beginnings again. Beginnings and a new energy coming in here. The opportunity for you to step into a new role and be clear. Like um, that new beginning, the... The excitement of a new beginning, but being clear about that. Again, and you see how he's uh, pointing his sword, or she's pointing her sword to the to the sky. Be clear about your intentions and met and like focus that energy into the ether, right? So yeah, that man, so that will manifest for you. And you see all these birds here; these are messengers here. Guidance. Listen to guidance. Listen to your intuition. All right, let's see the next one. Two of Wands, you have a decision here. Again, this is you're on the cusp of this new beginning here. You have the world in your hands. All you have to do is visualize what you want and it will manifest into your world. Again, look at this. I'm looking at these birds and these stars as like the same individuals. These, these can be different potentials also, different, if you guys believe in quantum physics and parallel universes, these could be different, pot different potentials, different versions of yourself. But you have the power to decide on what version you want to become, of what you want to manifest, what version you want to step into, your ideal life, uh, the highest version of yourself. And you have this power to force that that um, that image into the ether so that it manifests into your physical reality. You have the that ability to force that into your physical reality, into your world. And again, here, look, the two torches here. You are at the precipice of a decision here. You are at the cusp of a decision here. Which one are you going to choose? What what potential are you going to choose? And if you and if you're afraid, Ar like Archangel Michael just stepped forward for for you. He's offering protection, justice here. Is there paperwork that needs to be signed? There needs to be um, someone needs to look at contracts. Or somebody has to weigh in, like you have to, you have to uh, submit something with regards to the, to the law to make this to make this move. And also the message of reading into all this and getting guidance on this, so you can navigate your way through this decision. Let's say um, this is a new position or something. Read through your contracts, the new employment. What goes? What what benefits is this company giving you? Um, if this has to do with a business contract, you know, like that the a new partnership or something, right? Yeah, some of you are afraid, but this is your own fears. Look, you see the little bird again. You have a lot of uh, guidance here. They're trying to show you the way, but your own fears are holding you back. But again, these swords are not touching her, right? So it's um, sometimes it's our own limiting beliefs that are holding us back. It's not really fears that are stemmed in reality. Like we, over, we overthink things sometimes, right? So that's the message here your own self-limiting beliefs you can you can you can release these bonds here it's your own fear so work through that 
okay? Because the energy is changing for you. The energy is, sh is shifting for you. And it's your decision. Your, it's in your power to, to decide on whether you want to step into this new role. Anything else, Spirit? Definitely here is a, a new energy here. But it's you that ultimately decides. But be clear on what you want and what you want to attract, what you want to step into. You have the power at the end of the day. Okay. Any last messages? Queen of Cups. You have the potential to step into your ultimate happiness and fulfillment. You have the, the potential to, um, to be overflowing with abundance, love, happiness, health, wealth, family, right? You, this could be you. Again, there's, there needs to be made a decision. There's, you have all this in your mind right now. Which one do I want? A decision and clarity needs to come to you. Just step into that power, into, um, you know, taking some time out for yourself. Really, really getting clear on what you want. Again, look at this, three of wands. When you've made that decision, it's because it's right for you. Not for, and obviously we have family we have to take into account as well, but what will, what will, what will, like when you put everything out on paper and you weigh everything out and you really sit with yourself in contemplation, in contemplation, that decision will be behind you and you're just waiting on your ship to come in. It's like a, you're, at, you're at the beginning, you're at the cusp of a, a beautiful new beginning. So don't be afraid is the message here. Be clear and uh, you will find the way, okay? Pile one. This is your messages, pile one. I hope that this resonated for all of you. Let me know. Let me know in the comments if, um, if this is like applicable to you, okay? And also, if anybody is interested, I do do personal readings. So you can find that in my links. I will see all of you soon. Sending you all tons of love. Bye. Welcome, Pile 2, to your reading. Let's look at which Archangel stepping forward for all of you. We have Archangel Raphael with Angel Therapy. Give your cares and worries to us, angels, and allow us to take your burdens. Okay. Some of you are going through a hard time right now. Um, again, and the angels, these guides, um, these beings... They are always with us, but we need to ask them for help for them to step in to, you know, to give them, give us their aid. Okay. And Archangel Raphael is the healer of the archangels here. So there's a healing that a lot of you are going through or needing to go through, taking some time out for yourself, relaxing, being gentle with yourself. A lot of you are going through some stresses, maybe. I'm going to pull from the tarot also, but I'm going to read some specific messages from the guidebook as well. But the Archangel Raphael stepping forward that you are in need of, like, um, when I say therapy, I don't mean, like, <laughs> mental therapy or something. Um, I mean, maybe some of you do need to speak to somebody, but um, to voice your stresses and, you know, maybe get a different opinion on what's going on. Um, but definitely a need for healing and being gentle with yourself. Okay. And the message here is, have you asked us angels for help with your situation? We can only help if you give us permission. Right now, close your eyes and take a deep cleansing breath. Then mentally call upon your guardian angels and the archangels to help you. Don't outline how you want to be helped. Just tell us what situation you'd like help with. Most important, be open to receiving help as it comes to you. The help might be in the form of a hunch an intuitive idea or a direct intervention. If you receive any repetitive guidance, it's important that you follow it, okay? All right, and um, Archangel Raphael, his energy is green, like an emerald green. And there's another deck that I have that he actually has, he's like associated with the heart chakra also. So Archangel Raphael, and what other messages want to come forward for pile two, please? What other messages want to come forward for pile two? 
about this? What messages want to come forward for pile two, please? For pile two. offense here uh there's definitely something here with regards to speaking to somebody um for this the here offense is like you know usually like when i look at it and of course look at it, he has a little this religious um it's sometimes signified or like points to like a priest or something uh, a leader in a religious aspect right somebody that you can go to uh, for li for legit or blah, 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 sorry religious counsel so this doesn't necessarily have to be this but somebody that is um uh spiritually wise somebody that can you can speak to but also this could be like a therapist again like what i was saying somebody that can guide you um also let me pull from the other cards here but there's something here also um again the, the specific meaning here with asking the angels for healing or for, for giving them permission to enter your life to help you you can ask them for guidance and they can step in as this hierophant energy and help you also guide you also listening to your intuition as well like the hermit here taking time out a lot of you need to take some time out for yourselves um, and also, some of you may be feeling a little lost as well, because when I see this here, you see the little lantern here. Sometimes this can signify somebody that's kind of feeling lost on their path. Um, and sometimes because we have so much stuff going on in our lives, we get like so confused, like I don't know what to do. Sometimes, again, you need to take that time out for yourself get all that the clutter away all the noise away from people the drama step away from that and follow your light sometimes it's just that one little light that can lead us out of that darkness right what is it that's really important in your life right now if there's so much stuff going on and it's like really confusing and just you just don't even know where to start start to make a priority first start working on that making a list right and start doing that diligently every single day right and that and again, what is most fulfilling for you right now? What is the most important thing right now? And just follow that. Pay attention to that. Focus on that. Um, but again, taking there's a need for some of you or all of you to take some time out for yourselves for a healing. Okay? Sometimes being alone is better than being in bad company, especially if there's like so many people that are full of tox toxic energy. There's just ne never anything nice to say. It's... It's better to be by yourself. I always say that. And some people are like, oh, no, that's not good to say that. But honestly, um, it's you don't want to be around, especially if you're trying to heal yourself. You don't want to be around people that are going to continuously take because there are people like that out there. They don't care what each person is going through. There's, again, a need to take some time out for yourself. Think things through. Contemplate. And in that being by yourself, that healing will take place here. Again, look at this, the Four of Swords. You need to take a, like a weekend, a long weekend. Rest, rejuvenate. Right? Some people like really can't do a vacation right now, like a small vacation. No things are, money is tight for a lot of people right now. Just have a weekend alone, right? Um, do like a little, a small fast, right? Eat clean, you know, read a nice book, light a candle and don't, don't talk to anybody <laughs> that whole weekend. Just take a, take a blank notebook you get from the Dollar Tree and write out what's going on in your life. Take some time out, rest, take a little bath, get a massage if you can. There's, there's rest, a deep message here about resting all of you. And here we got the two of wands at the bottom of the deck. So here, what I'm getting with this is a decision that needs to be made for a lot of you with regards to your health. What you have two roads here. We always have two choices, right? Is um, and it comes it it comes in all ways, right? Let's say, um, what are we having for breakfast? We always have a choice. Is this food that's on oh, my left here? Is this going to nourish my body or is it going to hurt my body? We always have two choices, right? Um, engaging with people. Um, I have a choice. We always have a, have a choice to engage in that person in a positive way or are we going to gossip with them about somebody and tear somebody down? Um, 
there's always a choice, right? Do, like think the way we think about things, the way we look at things, right? There's a choice here, but something also about a need to cut things out that are hurting us, that are hurting you, pile two. Um, you always have a decision and a choice. And then the rest of your future is depending on this. Like, do you want to continue suffering and going through these cycles and patterns? Or do you want to actually heal and progress with your spiritual evolution, with your physical evolution, with your mental evolution? Again, um, every day, what are we doing for ourselves? Are we, are we making our body stronger? Are we making our mind stronger? Are we making our spirit stronger? Uh, what are we doing every day to like, are, are we better than yesterday? Are we doing a little bit better than yesterday? And again, changes don't happen overnight. It happens gradually, right? So let's get some more messages for you. Oh, this card almost fell on my coffee. Okay, so this one definitely want to come out here. Five of Swords here. Taking your power back, pile two. Some of you have felt like you've been getting taken advantage of, like your power has been taken away, being mistreated. And um, this is leading to a lot of stress in your life. And again, this could have to do with family. This could have to do with friends. This could be with coworkers. What in your life are you feeling disempowered by? And the, the, the power is with you to take your power back because it's, it's affecting your healing, pile two. What other messages, spirit, for pile two? I think this is pretty much, this is like very clear cut, this message, these messages so far. Working, working on yourself. This is like the renovation card here. But for me, I'm feeling like this is you working on yourself. You are a work in progress and every day you're becoming more beautiful, more strong, okay? And more healed. If you prioritize yourself pile two and this is the message here and Archangel Raphael is stepping forward to to lend you uh, to lend you that healing energy if you ask okay take some time out for yourself because you deserve it and you are a priority here you don't need to be a victim of somebody else okay pile two I hope that this reading resonated for all of you um, let me know in the comment section if this applied to you guys or anything and also I do offer readings so if you guys are interested you can find all of that in my uh, my links okay send you all love and I hope you have a nice weekend bye welcome pile three to your reading let's see which Archangel stepping forward for you we have Archangel Haniel with moon cycles notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize upon these cycles okay and also, pile three, you are like my psychic pile. You are very intuitive, right? And the moon here, working with a divine feminine energy as well. The moon is the mother here. Also, um, for some of you, um, you have um, lineage. I saw um, powers, manifestation powers, psychic powers, intuitive powers that run through the, the line of your mother also but very very psychic you all of you pile three very psychic and archangel haniel stepping forward maybe she wants to work with you also let's look at um let's look at the guidebook for any specific messages um each of these piles was very distinctly different okay <laughs> so let's look at this one okay archangel haniel the full moon is a perfect time to release anything you've done with you're done with. The new moon is the time to focus on manifesting desires and intentions. And the evening before the full moon is an optimal time for healing and for recharging healing instruments such as crystals and oils. Spend time looking at the moon and notice how you feel in relationship to its cycles. As you discover the moon's connection with your vitality and moods, you'll be more in touch with its divine magic. Okay, um... Yes, yeah, so, yes, Archangel Haniel. So let's see any specific messages. So you, all of you, if you ever wanted to work with the moon, this is your, this is your message. This is your calling here. Okay, let's look at the tarot to see any specific messages for all of you. And I like how this matches my, um, my little, my little, uh, tarot sheet here. Let's see here, Archangel, Archangel Haniel, what other messages once you want to bring forward for Pile 3? 
very psychic oh you guys also ooh, you guys get messages in your dreams as well right uh, if you're not getting a notebook for like your dreams get a dream journal okay so let's see here queen of wands justice here the queen of wands is also very very psychic as well i i'm getting that feeling also here it's time to step into your power I feel like a lot of you, maybe also you manifest by accident and then you realize that you're like attracting certain things that maybe you don't want. It's time to step into your power and polish on these, uh, on, on your gifts, right? Working on that, but also with this fire energy here, um, start doing something like creative also, um, doing something that's like very clear, very dear to your heart as well. Something that brings you, you, you bring, fills your spirit with fire. And this could be dancing. This could be writing. This could be, um, music. There's something here with regards to your pot, your life path, all of you that is going to light fire, right? Ha and make things start to move. If some of you have felt like there's been a stagnant energy around you, it's time to start to put energy into like these creative works here and we got justice here that's going to help you feel very balanced it's going to help you very feel balanced if you've been feeling kind of out of sorts a little bit but also this contract here the contract there's something regarding this that maybe you can actually um gain money from also there's here and also contract here this is part of your life purpose your life path this has a creative, something creative with regards to intuition with the moon, working with different goddesses also for some of you. This may be very specific for some people, so if this does not resonate, don't worry. There's, there's something here. Also, um, very specific, also there's a contract here. When I say contract, maybe I shouldn't say contract. There's a spirit or um, feminine goddess energy that wants to work with you it could be archangel Haniel also a goddess of the moon maybe lilith wants to work with you oh let's see here what other messages for pile three this is very different from the other piles <laughs> But also, if you've been feeling, again, out of sorts, feeling over-emotional for some of you, understanding how that moon affects your moods as well, and that will bring you this balance. And again, maybe movement, mo moving your body around, it like will help, like help you to feel also more calm as well. Nine of Cups here. This is the key to like your happiness here. You starting to work with these with these elements here is going to bring it's gonna bring you forward to like feeling very very fulfilled with your life. Oh, movement, fast movement for a lot of you. When you start to pay attention to this, start working with your gifts, things are gonna start moving very, very fast for you. And maybe contracts will be coming forward for you as well. Look at this meeting new people, social engagements, being invited to things, movement, moving even traveling maybe for some of you <laughs> traveling to these different places there's something here with intuition working with spirits or something also maybe traveling to different um ancient ruins or something like that here this is like your life's work here learning you're learning about this there's something here about life purpose for all of you. Any last message of spirit for pile three? The moon is very has to has to do a lot with you. Um, also, pay attention to your astrological chart to see where what sign is in the moon um, is associated with the moon, right? What moon is, what sign is your moon under? Again, this has to do with, this has to do with, uh, you, um, 
with your patterns here, life cycle uh, cycles here, um, incarnations, life purpose, but also this has to do these gifts that you have here, whatever this is, and also you balancing your emotional state has to do, um, I'm trying to put this into words here. You balancing this out, working with your creative energy here, working with your gifts has to do with your life purpose and how a lot of you will be making um, making a living. This is going to provide a living for all of you, doing something that you love. Okay, all of you, I hope this made sense for all of you. I send you all tons of love. And again, if anybody's interested, I do offer private readings and you can find all that in my links. I send you again all tons of love. I hope you have a beautiful weekend. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.